they back 1,300 institutions. They've been around for 50 years. Let's scroll on down here. 1,300 partnerships and counting. Been around for over 50 years. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Wallet Monkey channel. Let's grow your wallet. All right, today we're gonna talk about Spectra Credit Union, their business credit cards. We're gonna talk about Connexus and their business credit cards. We're gonna talk about Flagstar and their business credit cards and a whole long laundry list of business credit cards from credit unions. And guess what they all have in common, my friends? Elan or Elaine Financial is the backer on the business cards. Now, what's interesting is on the personal side, Elan is also, or Elon or whatever you want to call it, Elaine. We're going to call it Elaine from now on. Elaine is also the uh, financial institution behind it. So all of these banks can all be summarized pretty similarly because they all have the same backer. Now, I know business credit is like the hot topic right now. We just had somebody the other day reach out and, and ask, hey, can you cover more credit unions on the business side? Well, I got you in a huge, huge way. Okay, so let's go through this. First off, I'm gonna give you the sauce on how to find and how to determine if they're running their credit cards through Elaine or not. And then I'm gonna give you the laundry list, okay? So stick around, it's gonna be good. If you haven't hit that like button, go ahead and do it right now. All right, let's go. Put something in the comment if this is your first time viewing the videos, first time to the channel, I wanna know about it. Welcome to the party. This is the kind of fun stuff we cover all the time. Let's do it. Uh, here we are on Spectra. So this is just spectracu.com, products, business credit cards. Now, how can we tell if they're using uh, Elaine? I'm just gonna hover over, learn more and apply. And then in the lower left-hand corner, which you can't see the full thing right now, but it says creditcardlearnmore.com slash 11T3. And then a whole like string of numbers. That right there, lets you know that it's Elaine because every single one of these websites sends you to the same exact domain, creditcardlearnmore.com slash 11T3 and then the, the um, string of numbers, right? And the string of numbers is the association with this bank. So that's how Elaine on the back end knows that this is this bank, this is a business card versus this bank, right? Because it turns out that Elaine actually backs a ton of cards, over 1,300. So this is how we know. So if I come to Connexus, this is another big one that you hear talked about all the time. I come over to browse cards, hover over it. Oh my gosh, what do you know? Creditcardlearnmore.com slash 11T3 slash boom. Big string of numbers. What do you know? Okay, let's do it again. Flagstar Bank. This is a, this is a banger bank right here. I'm gonna tell you about some personal data points on this in just a couple minutes. We come over here to learn more on any of these cards. Oh my God, look at that. Creditcardlearnmore.com slash 11T3. Boom. Easy, right? Okay, so it turns out that uh, Elaine or Elan... I like Elaine, it just kind of sounds better, right? Sounds more friendly, I guess. They back 1,300 institutions. They've been around for 50 years. Let's scroll on down here. 1,300 partnerships and counting. Been around for over 50 years. So they are like the back-end partner so these credit unions don't have to do all this themselves, which look, I think in general, at a high level, that's a good idea. Now, I tried to dig around their site to see if I could get a definitive list of these 1,300 banks, which would make it real easy for all of us, but I don't think it's gonna be that easy. So you might have to just go through one by one. We've compiled a, a short list as well because I'm gonna hit you with the business side and the personal side, but just give me a minute. 1,300 banks. Now, the thing is, do you really need, I mean, 1,300 banks? No, maybe five or 10, and most of you would be good, right? because you can play a little game with this and uh, it works really, really well. I've heard of a lot of people doing this. Next, let's go through the lists here. First off, why is everyone going nuts for these cards? Well, because for the longest time, there is zero interest for 20 billing cycles. You gotta use that within uh, 620 days. Here it is right here, but it, they've changed it. This is the business cash preferred card. So you see 0% for six billing cycles. We gotta go to this one. So this is business, uh, the, just the business card, 0% for the first 18 billing cycles. After that, it's 14.99, but let's look at the terms here. This is why everyone's losing their mind about this. And look, it even sends you to online1.elanecard.com, right? So I, again, it, you could just poke around a little bit on the credit union side and you'd find this. So they've changed it to 18 billing cycles and you have to use it within 558 days. So let's just stop right there. Let that sink in. Typically, you never ever have a bank give you this much time to use and fire off this debt. This is a debt weapon. This is a reallocation of debt to help you kind of wipe the slate clean and give another run at it or clean up your profile so then you can go and do your next app spree. This is an insane tool in your arsenal. Please understand that. I hope you're seeing that. 558 days, that's almost two years that you have before you gotta fire this thing off. And then on top of that, you could wait till the 557th day 
then fire this thing off and you get 18 months of 0%, well, 18 billing cycles of eight of 0%. Now you're going to want to read all this TOS because that's what we teach here. You want to read through the whole thing. You want to understand your disclosures and your terms because there is other things in here. Like for example, if you exceed your credit limit two times in 12 consecutive months, it might void your APR and look at this penalty APR. So they do hit you with some nasty stuff. If you're, if you're going to run the game the wrong way, but here's the benefit to this is they will pull Experian FICO eight on your personal for this business card. So we're just gonna PG this thing so we can get it quick, easy, no muss, no fuss, don't need to build up trade lines, no net 30s, none of that junk, okay? We're just gonna go get these things and then you can just wipe the inquiry. It's on the business side. Wipe the inquiry, go do it again. Wipe the inquiry, go do it again. I mean, sky's the limit with how many of these you can get. I haven't heard of somebody give me a definitive number, but I've heard of over five. So now let that sink in, 10, 20, 30K on these cards. Just firing these things off as, as serious debt weapons, like I said. And each one of these banks, I think, has pretty similar cards, right? They got one of them that's just an absolute banger. Here we go again. Yep, here's theirs. Theirs is called the Platinum card. I think this is gonna be called the Platinum card at most of these banks. It's either gonna have no name or it's gonna become, it's gonna be called the Platinum card. Cause the Platinum card is usually at a at a credit union, a uh, the low interest card. Like it is at Navy Fed, is at Penn Fed, is everywhere, right? So again, here it is right here. If we click on over to see the terms, we're coming right to the same same exact page. Online one, dot Elaine card, right? And we scroll on down and what do we got? There you go. So also too, what's interesting to note is that this doesn't have the penalty um, like the other one did uh, over on Spectra. So this was Spectra's, right? Remember this? Just did this, bang, penalty APR when it applies. Come over here, penalty APR when it applies, not applicable. Interesting. So again, you might wanna take that into consideration, but look, what you're looking for on the business side is the platinum named card. So here are some that we think Shout out to Alita in the Discord uh, Discord community. They put this list together. Alden Credit Union, Associated Bank, Columbia, Co uh, Comerica, First Bank, Flushing, North Shore, Sandy Spring, TBK, and Waterstone. Now those are the ones that at the time, which this was about four months ago, that this list was the 0% APR offer. They had some sort of platinum card. These are other ones that accept it, right? Which we just showed you Spectrum and Conexus, which those got the 0% banger as well, the platinum. These are other ones. Uh, that you might find it at on the business side, but then we haven't even talked about the personal side. I know that an in incredible bank that's on the personal side. I haven't checked all of these. That's entirely up to you. Again, I don't think you're going to need the list of 1300 banks. I don't think you're going to need all those at all, but on the personal side, let me cover that really quick. I found this gem. Check this out. So on the personal side, what we're looking for is because Elaine Financial actually has partnerships with a lot of different banks and they're connected with US Bank and uh, Key Bank. And so people in the beginning were thinking that this was a way to get into US Bank. I'm not sure if it is. Somebody comment below if this is like a sneaky backdoor way into US Bank because US Bank usually starts you off at like $500 limits, really low. You got to build long-term relationship with them. But what people were looking for is a comparison to the uh, US Bank cash card or the cash plus card, I think it was. And what they found is that what all these um, credit unions were calling the max cash was actually the same exact card all backed by Elaine Financial. Check it out, here we go again, but on the personal side. So Incredible Bank, which we just uh, we just saw, all of these just scrolling on down. We just, here's even more. And this list is a little dated, this is from 2021, but again, you don't need all these. Find a couple that are by you. Now, here's a couple little nuggets, is if you're not by these banks or institutions, you might wanna use a VPN. That's one thing that I've heard, and I, I this is not tested with me personally, and I'm gonna give you my data points in just a sec, but um, use a VPN because they are location-based, and so they tend to uh, block based off IP. So all you would need is, I'm gonna give you a link in the description box, NordVPN, it's super cheap. I think it's 68% off right now and you get three months free. It literally breaks down to be like two bucks a month. It's worth it, believe me, you can use it for other stuff like Netflix and getting different country geolocations for that. So you can get different shows and different things on your Netflix, on your different streaming services like that. But you want a VPN just to hide like kind of what you're doing, right? And give yourself another layer of protection. So anyways, you could use a VPN to make sure that you're actually um, using the proper location. Now, let me give you some personal data points. The last time I did anything with Elaine was like 2019, early 2020, I think. One thing that I've been hearing is that, oh, you can't use sole proprietor on the business side. You have to use LLC. I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, back in when I did the last one is did it as a sole prop. So it was name on the credit card. It even showed up name. And then underneath that name. So it was like first, last name right underneath that first, last name. 
So the first last name at the top was the business name. And then underneath or vice versa was the person that's like the director of the company. So, and there was no issues with that. That was a $13,000 credit limit right out of the gates, no relationship. There's another benefit and another upside to this is none of this is relationship banked is because they're all using the same underwriter. So you can go in cold and get these. Uh, I know that the TD Ameritrade, I think it was, or excuse me, Fidelity, the Fidelity card uses this as well. And I know that's huge for a lot of people that are into trading. So you don't need a relationship. They're going to pull your FICO Experian 8 and uh, sometimes TransUnion based on where you're at. It's best to have over 700. GOIP might matter. It might not. I want to hear from you if you've done sole prop because I have, but again, 2019 versus now is huge different. It feels like a, a decade ago. So I want to hear from somebody in the last like 12 months that's done a sole prop as the business and gotten the business card. If not, maybe they did change it over to LLCs only. But again, you guys let me know in the comments. And of course, if you've gotten a large amount of these cards, uh, I'd like to hear from you in the comments as well, uh, because this is this is a nasty little debt weapon. So I think we'll probably dig deeper into this, um, but I wanna collect some data points from you guys, the, the community in the comments section. And as always, this is what we do here. If you like this sort of thing, 60% of you watching right now are still not subscribed to this channel, which is absolute insanity. Take a second, subscribe, and shout out to all of our Patreons. You'll be seeing their beautiful names across the screen now. They just give us a few bucks every month to help support us. Also, too, that's how you can gain access to the private Discord. There is a join button underneath that you can also do uh, here on YouTube. Four ninety nine a month, you get some perks, benefits, and you know all that fun stuff. That's it. All right, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.